It is Thursday, the 7th of October, four days after the marathon on Sunday. I've had time for my uh, for my legs to sort themselves out somewhat, still in a bit of pain, but you know, that's expected. What follows is a montage of video, video footage that I took uh, on the day. So everything you're about to watch is sun is all of all of the video I took on Sunday. Everything I took on Saturday I lost because Saturday night in the hotel my phone started to overheat and uh after a little bit of panic and a little bit of freak out and oh, I can't lose I cannot lose I cannot do this run without my phone kind of moments I gave a factory reset and unfortunately I lost all of the footage I took of um arriving on the Saturday. But I have plenty of photographic uh, material to cover that. So go to my Facebook running page and you'll, you'll see all those pictures on my page. And uh, well, enjoy. Heading into Canary Wharf. And then next would be Greenwich. And that's where my starting point is. So it's, there's other runners with me on this train. It's very exciting. I'm too nervous to be excited though. This is Greenwich. Good luck all. Go and smash it. And I have the absolute privilege of taking you here today. So good luck everyone. Yay! Okay, so we just <laughs> just come up from from uh, Canary Wharf, the DLR, the, the train station. I'm talking rubbish. I'm, I'm babbling. Anyway, we're here. We've emerged uh, <clears throat> and it's Marathon Central. Oh my gosh, it's exciting. Let me just do a quick sweep. Catch the people behind me. What? We gotta go. Oh gosh, we gotta go. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so we're waiting in the queue for the... Uh, we did have to go, but now we found the queue and it's really heck along <laughs> for the DLR, which is the train from... Um, Canary Wharf. Thank you, Canary Wharf to Greenwich, which is where, yeah, am yeah, I right? Good. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> I'm good. Uh, it's, a, it's amazing I can even string words together at this point. Um, so I got my bib on with my name, Bigger in Dallas, isn't that great? And uh, so I'm gonna do a little sweepy poo so you can all see. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not, I'm videoing this way. <laughs> don't you don't wanna say that, I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> You're in it now. <laughs> I'm um, in my start area, heading to my start area. I'm in the red start area. Hiya. And this crowd is heading up. Uh, all the start areas peel off from here, so mine is up here to the left. Uh, you'll see the sign in just a second. Pointing to the red start, we've had to walk up this hill. Had to walk up this hill? <laughs> Listen to me, whining about a hill. Hmm, that's a bit ironic, isn't it? There you go, see? See the screens? Red start to the left. Here we go, babies. Just wanted to let everyone know I'm back. I'm done. Uh, I've finished the marathon. Finished at five hours, five hours twenty-eight minutes, and seven seconds. And uh, uh, the first part of the run, the first half was really excellent. Actually, I was I was um, flying. Actually, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, around mile fourteen, started to started to because I'd only reached fourteen miles in my training. Uh, started to go down a little bit. Uh, and then by mile 17 and a half, I, um, I hit the wall and I walked a little bit and then I stopped. Um, <clears throat> very lovely lady there stood there, uh, gave me a banana, which was very helpful. Um, and then for the next four, four miles from there, I, I did a mixture of walking and running, uh, trying to find a new rhythm, uh, because I, I knew that I 
I could have very easily just let that be it and just stop me. Um, but I, uh, I really decided, you know, this is, this is my moment. I've got to make, I need to make this work. I have eight more miles to, to make this race happen. And so I worked over that, over the, that four miles to sort of find a new rhythm. Uh, I would walk a bit, run a bit, uh, try something di different. Eventually I, I, I tried a speed, a speed walk and I lowered down into my hips and my knees and uh, that that released some of the pressure and I, eventually I was able to ease back up into a, a, a slow run. And I finished the race running from 21 and a half to the end, 26.2, finished running. So four, four miles in the middle of working it out, finished strong. So I'm really quite pleased with that. And, uh, you know, it's something, it's very easy for, it would be very easy for me right now to, to uh, be annoyed with myself or to kick myself. Uh, but that's kind of my ego talking. And I have to re, I have to be able to uh, refer back to uh, what I said about my last training run. It's quality, not quantity. And to realize that there are positives in all situations, but also lessons to take with me. And uh, what what I'm really happy about uh, is that this was this was a run that sort of matched my training in a sense. Uh, I had, as you guys know, as you've been watching, I've had a very challenging, difficult training period, and uh, for various reasons, got behind, got set behind in my training. And my last big run was only 14 miles. Uh, and it, it, in the end, it became mind over matter. It became me telling my body what it was going to do and uh, owning the road and making it happen. And this run was, was just that, you know, I, I stopped, I faced, I faced the wall and I made a choice to to find a way through the wall and I'm I'm quite pleased and proud of myself for for accomplishing that so definitely this run was <laughs> indicative of my training mind over matter tell your body what it's going to do don't let it off the hook and make sure it does it so I cross the line strong and have my medal on my t-shirt well there you have it I want to take the opportunity before I sign off of this video to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone for, for your constant support, your, your love, your, your comments, your encouragement. And for if you, if you'd made any donations, uh, for, for making those, for making this day what it needed to be and for literally carrying me through to the finish line. I just, I'm so grateful and couldn't have done it without any of you. Uh, as I said, I'm going to be posting uh, the left, the rest of the pictures onto my Facebook page, and I'm going to obviously keep this channel and this page open for, for as what it's called. I, obviously, I'm not going to be running <laughs> another marathon, at least for a while, but I'm looking at potentially uh, doing some half marathons, potentially as soon as March. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but definitely stay tuned and uh, donations have been coming in. We've raised about approximately 30, 1,338 pounds and rising. People are still donating. So uh, if you haven't yet and you would like to, you can uh, find the link in my Facebook page and you can go there and make a donation. Obviously, you know I finished. So <laughs> thank you, everyone. And uh, more later.